Welcome back to Studio 10. The day after New Year's is when a lot of you will start taking down your Christmas tree. When all of those trees are thrown out, it can really add to the trash problem. The good news is you don't have to toss your tree to the curb. You can drop it off to be recycled. Here to tell us why this is so important, we have Bob Haskins with Keep Mobile Beautiful. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Thanks, Thanks so much for coming on the show. Glad so to. Tell everybody why it's important to recycle their Christmas tree. Well, there are a lot of trees out there, and a lot of families have made it their new tradition in their family to recycle that tree instead of just tossing it to the curb. They spend a lot of time out picking it out, decorating it, and enjoying it in their home. So there's no reason to just throw it to the curb like a piece of trash. Right. So we want them to recycle it. We have six locations around town, all the way from Dolphin Mountain Parkway, all the way up to Moffett Road, six locations around town. And we ask that they prepare the tree for recycling by removing the lights, the ornaments, tinsel, anything that's on the tree, and bring the tree to one of the recycling sites. What happens to the tree once it's dropped off to you? Well, we have volunteers out this weekend to help you unload your tree, and then City of Mobile will haul all the trees out to the fairgrounds, and our friends at Mobile Forest Products will come out um, on the 10th and help us grind the trees, and then we'll give it away for mulch. Now, you're not charging anything for this mulch, right? No, ma'am. It's all free. So all people need to do is prepare the tree, bring it out to you guys, and you'll do all the rest. That's right. And we'll take care of it, turn it into mulch, and then they can come out to the fairgrounds and pick up the mulch for free. And then they can take it home, put it around their trees or flower beds, and it's a, it's a good thing because it will help retain moisture in the earth, it will return nutrients to the earth, and it will help prevent weeds. Have you so, gotten a lot of trees so far? Yes, we have. We've seen a great number of trees already this year. So what do people need to do to, to, before they bring the trees out again? Okay. Um, you bought the tree with nothing on it. That's the way we want it back. Okay. Take off the ornaments, the lights, the tinsel, any kind of garland or anything like that, and... Uh, make sure you get everything off of it because we've already had quite a few trees turned in with a lot of really pretty ornaments on them. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because I would think that people would automatically take the things off of the tree, but that is a concern. You guys want to make sure that everything is off of the trees. That's right. And you have six different locations. We're going to put all of the information on our website, fox10tv.com. Just click on the Studio 10 page, and you're going to have volunteers on site Saturday and Sunday, and they can drop them off between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Right. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Glad to be here. Oh, no problem, and Happy New Year. And to you, too. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, a personal trainer is joining us with advice on keeping those New Year's fitness resolutions. And thousands of people 